Good morning. Today is a very special day. It happens to be my birthday. I have a different kind of adventure planned for today, but an adventure nonetheless. Also, I'll be leaving my trailer for the evening and sleeping somewhere very unique. It is uh, about time to get going though. We better get a move on. And of course, I'm taking you with me. So let's go. probably guess by seeing the rafts behind me that I'm going on a white water rafting adventure. Here we go. But that, that's uh, not a whole lot. Hey guys, <laughs> so I'm going to get a few paddles right here. Let's go two forward, everybody ready? One. As exciting as the rapids are, the calm parts of the water were enjoyable as well, taking in all the beautiful scenery. Well, that was a ton of fun. I love doing whitewater rafting and that's only my second time. Now I'm itching to try something maybe a little bit more technical. I went ahead and changed and as you can see, I got wet. <laughs> I've got the natural curl going on in my hair, but that's to be expected. I changed very quickly because I will be meeting my sister and brother-in-law for a late lunch, early dinner, their treat for my birthday before checking into my accommodations. We headed up to Richfield, Utah, which is about a 20 minute drive. I settled on the ground steak burger, which had that char grilled taste and was absolutely delicious.
You probably wouldn't have guessed that I would be sleeping in a train car tonight. I am sleeping in a caboose in Caboose Village. There are varying train cars here in sizes and price, and I happen to be in a caboose. It might look familiar because we rode right past here on the river this morning. Uh, so I got a good look at where I was gonna be, which was very cool. It's uh, starting to rain a little bit. There have been thunderstorms off and on this afternoon, which is kind of the norm, par for the course uh, at this time of year. It makes it for very interesting skies, beautiful skies, but I digress. Let me show you around my little caboose. As you walk in the door, there is a little dinette area, a television, a kitchenette, and then to the right of that is a bathroom. The bathroom's pretty large. And we have a separate shower and bathtub. Turn the light on here. Toilet, mirror, sink area. It's a little bit older, you can tell. Uh, the living room is very simple, very plain. And back here is the bedroom, again, Pretty basic, pretty simple. However, I do have an amazing view out the window. And then I think the most special part of this place is the outdoors. And this is my view. It felt slightly ironic I was staying in a caboose considering I had never ridden a train. The magpies are going bonkers out here. <laughs> what an amazing day it has been. A great birthday celebration. I was really grateful to be able to have my brother-in-law join me on the rafting trip and to have my sister and brother-in-law take me out to a wonderful lunch slash dinner and then be able to spend the afternoon and evening here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I have an incredible view. I am so relaxed and that's exactly what I wanted for my birthday. Just a nice relaxing evening after a pretty adventurous morning actually. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here and just wait for the sunset. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful sunset and I will check back in in the morning. Good night. I'm not gonna lie, it felt odd not waking up in my trailer. My trailer is definitely home.
It was a gorgeous morning and I was grateful for this experience. Well, good morning, magpies. <laughs> they are all over here. They're all on top of one of the train cars right in front of me. It is a beautiful morning here. I had a great night's sleep. This uh, little caboose village is right off of Highway 89. The nearest town is Richfield. So it is off of a highway. However, I did not hear any highway noise at all last night. It was really quiet and peaceful. There is no cell service or Wi-Fi, and uh, that's kind of nice every once in a while. I think it's pretty healthy and I enjoy being unplugged. It's one of the things that I really enjoy about backpacking is being unplugged for a while. It's a, it's a nice uh, treat occasionally and a healthy thing for sure. One thing that I would highly recommend if you are considering staying here is bringing your own coffee. <laughs> the coffee leaves a lot to be desired and they do have a fridge in there so you can bring creamer, keep your coffee and a coffee maker. I wish I would have done that. I think that after this, I will go across the street and have some breakfast and hopefully some good coffee at the uh, Rock Candy Mountain Cafe. So this is all part of the Rock Candy Mountain uh, resort area. There is a ton to do here. There's of course the whitewater rafting, there's zip lining, there's tubing, there's tons of OHV trails around here, hiking trails. There's a beautiful trail that runs all along this river for hiking or biking. And uh, yeah, it's an amazing area. The rafting at the time of filming this cost for one adult $47. And uh, the rooms here, it's, you know, summer, high season. The train car was $199, but it was a birthday gift. So for me, it was free. And speaking of birthday gifts, the best birthday gift I could get from you all are the viewers that have not subscribed. I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. About half of the viewers of the channel are not subscribed. It's totally free. It helps the channel a lot. So as soon as you're done watching this video, go over to my channel's main page and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It would be fantastic if by the end of this year I got to 100K subscribers. Um, I'm at about 74 right now, so that would be amazing. I thank you all so much for your support. I would have never imagined that this is would be my life even four years ago. And now I've been on the road for over three years and it's just absolutely incredible. Make no mistake, it definitely is still work. I do this all on my own. It's, uh, you know, I'm a one woman show. <laughs> so I don't have any editors, any, you know, filmers, nothing. I just do it all myself but it's a labor of love, I absolutely love it. My family was just here visiting, nieces, nephews, my twin sister, my mom. Does. Grandma thanks. Yep. Going on a little adventure. They came out to visit and I was thinking as we were spending the day on the OHV trails, how lucky I am that on a you know Monday, I could be hanging out with my family you know, doing these adventurous things and it's absolutely incredible and I do not take it for granted. Anyhow, I'm gonna wrap things up here shortly and uh, get back on the road. I'll probably go across the street and get some good coffee and some maybe some breakfast. I thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little bit different adventure. It was a fun way to spend my birthday and I thank you for coming along. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all on the next adventure. See you soon, bye-bye.
and I almost forgot by the time that this video airs it will be Independence Day Eve so I wanted to wish all of my American viewers a very happy Independence Day.